So I wanna talk a little bit about how we take care of school on the road. A big part of his education is just the way that we live. If we wanted to keep traveling, the only option was to homeschool. a few years ago if we would ever be homeschooling let alone road schooling our kids we would have said no way prior to this journey and hitting the road Cade attended a Goddard school and we absolutely loved the school we both had corporate jobs very demanding traveled a lot and he really thrived and excelled in that program and then once we decided to start traveling, he was three years old and we knew we wanted to continue his learning. We actually worked with the school and they gave us some really great resources and Spencer built a learning wall in the RV for him to work on his letters, days of the week, numbers. That's where we keep our calendar. It's also a magnetic whiteboard so um, he can do letters and spelling, <laughs> also writing. And it's been a really great area for us to utilize while doing education in the RV. And of course, outside of the RV, there's been so many wonderful opportunities. The way that we do it is definitely multifaceted. The biggest way that we do it is just by the way we're living. So we love hiking, we love exploring, we love seeing new places. And it's also meeting different people and people from different backgrounds and from different places with different jobs and different businesses. Kate gets to see those interactions. He's taking in those interactions. He's learning from the environment that we're in and he's learning from the people that we meet. And the best part about traveling full time is that that environment changes all the time. And so he's getting new and different experiences on a regular basis happening right in front of his eyes. Those experiences are so much more sticky for kids his age. And it's amazing how much information and how much knowledge he retains just by, just by way of doing what we do. It comes out the exhaust pipe. That's right. <laughs> Now, fast forward to a couple of years, Cade is now six, so we wanted to keep traveling even with the little lady here. We love this lifestyle and we love what it does for our family and the connectivity and the experiences we all can enjoy and just how much he does learn. Like outside of a classroom in mother nature, his learning is really limitless. There's so many programs out there, but really for what we found that was gonna at least work best for us as we, you know, dipped our toes into road schooling was a more traditional program. And I really didn't want Cade to be, or us to be in front of a screen all the time and doing, you know, screen learning. So what we ended up going with was The Good and the Beautiful. And what I loved about that is these books really just guide you through all of the lessons for science, for math, for language arts and reading. There is just a quick blurb about what the parent needs to do or instructions and then you read the other font, the black font to the kids and it just, it's been so great. Cade really excels in math. He has already finished his kindergarten or his K math program and moved into level one. And then, then we found, you know, we need to spend a little bit more time on the reading and the letters. And that's the flexibility and the freedom that road school has really provided us where we can move forward when he's ready. And then we can hang out a little bit longer and hone in on Ooh. skills that may be taking a little bit more time. When 
we go out for hikes, it's one of our favorite ways to teach Kate because hiking and exploring, it's like a science class come to life. So we've got all sorts of different ways that we teach him. He'll ask us questions, which is always a good one. What plant is that? What bug is that? If we know the answers, we'll give them to him. If we don't, we'll look them up. We also found a cool app called Seek. And it's an app where you can take a picture of something in nature, a leaf, a berry, a animal, a bug, and it will identify it for you. And especially when it's something that we don't recognize when we're in a new area. Obviously kids are curious, so Cade wants to touch and hold and grab everything that he finds. A lot of times we're not always sure if he should do that. We found some really cool caterpillars that it ended up, after we looked it up, he shouldn't touch them because they could sting him and then it would be no fun. So we've used that app to figure out those kinds of things. Kind of use any opportunity to teach him when we're out on the trail and out in nature. And it's just been a really cool way for him to learn as we travel to so many amazing places. Do you remember what it's called? No. When the tree breaks down like that? No. Decompose? Oh, decompose. Sometimes we take his, you know, school births outside. Sometimes we do it in the RV. Occasionally some um, campgrounds or RV resorts have community centers or clubhouses that we can go and utilize but also a lot of his learning happens outside and the flexibility again and the freedom that we have to take him around the country and show him so many different places whether he's you know popping into a soccer camp and that's gym for a season or we are experiencing a military museum we recently stayed at verde ranch rv resort and they offered um conestoga wagon stays and so we thought how awesome would that be to really bring that pioneer lifestyle to life for kate and so we did we booked a conestoga wagon stay we had um, Pioneer worksheets, we had Pioneer and Oregon Trail books that we read to him and he really kind of got to see a little bit more deeper dive into what Pioneers, you know, went through or what the wagons were like and it was just such a cool experience for him and um, the national parks that we've been to and learning about nature and conservation and leaving no trace. There, there's just so much that we've been able to show him. It's been it's been really a gift. Some days are messier than others and we've got crafts and science projects going on in the Messy. in the kitchen and he's planting flowers and getting to watch them bloom. And We also get to utilize programs outside of like what we would typically do. So the national parks have the junior ranger program yeah. and the museums have different um, activities for kids and days for, some museums have homeschool days. Um, like yeah. we did at the B&O. That's right. Today we came to the B&O Railroad Museum down in Baltimore. They had a homeschool day, so for Cade's Adventure School, we came to check out the activities and see the trains learn how they work, learn how they transport goods and services. Yeah, buddy. And learn how ca cow catchers work too. <laughs> too. There's a lot of good stuff about the history of the railroad and the railroad on the East Coast, the railroad in Baltimore, the B&O, obviously. This is why we decided to adventure school game because you get to do stuff like this and he learns so much through these experiences. Yeah. What's your favorite part about adventure school? Well, I was doing some adventure school at my grandma's house, and then I had to run outside and get a blade grass, a smooth rock, and a flower petal. Yeah, you, that was mm -hmm. a scavenger hunt. You like to do those. Do you remember when we were tracing the leaves? Remember when you had to find the leaves and we were tracing the leaves? That was pretty cool, huh? 
Do you remember the parts? Oh, what about the apple festival? You went to the, I mean, we taste tested a bunch ah! of different apples. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love red delicious. Yeah. <laughs> What's mommy and daddy's favorite apple? Honey crisp. Oh yeah, we like honey crisp and you love red delicious. We've decided, this was just our first year, so we're still learning how we want to navigate year after year, you know, as we continue to travel, but we're going to continue with the good and the beautiful, and we're going to also continue through summer. So we're not going to take any breaks, because we just feel like that break is going to be so much harder to get back into it, rather than maintaining it throughout the year. And we'll probably pull back on certain things and focus more on maybe gym. Um, for example, you know, he'll be kayaking and hiking a ton this summer, and rafting, and increasing the miles that he hikes and talking about elevation. I mean, really anything and everything we do can be a learning moment for him. And so that's really, you know, again, what we love about just being able to road school him. And he is so into a lot of the things that Spencer's into too. So he loves griddling, he loves cooking, he loves learning about the RV, he loves being able to, you know, build a fire and use a hammer. And all of these skills are learning skills. and. So we're really thankful that, you know, that was five, three, seven years ago where we thought, would we ever homeschool or road school our kid? We're glad we're here. We're glad we're able to enjoy this time together and we're glad we're, you know, learning along the way with him and we're excited to continue to share that with you as well. And see what happens when Sierra gets older. <laughs> yes, and see what happens. Luckily, Cade will have paved the way for her a little bit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we'll maybe learn. he'll become the teacher. We'll learn with Cade, and then Sierra will learn from our learnings. Yeah. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As I've been sitting here and editing and reviewing all of our adventures from the past two and a half years, it's just kind of dawned on me how amazing this experience has been so far for all of us. Not just for Cade and his learning, but it's been learning for for all three of us and now four of us with Sierra on board. It's just super cool because little did we know that when we bought our Holiday Rambler that it was gonna be our home, office, and classroom, but that it would also transport us to so many cool spots, turn basically the whole country into a classroom for Cade. And so we hope you've enjoyed kind of seeing how Cade has evolved over the last two years, how we've evolved over the last two years, and just how blessed we really feel to be able to travel the country, live on the road, learn on the road, and share it all with you. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Go seek adventure and embrace opportunity.